Are you looking to build a great cloud computing career? Don't get 10X AWS certified. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects and we're an organization dedicated to building high performance cloud computing and networking careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for two decades now. And it's the best feeling in the world when someone calls you and says, I've got my first cloud architect job or my first network engineer job, best feeling in the world. And today we're gonna to talk about the four reasons why getting 10X AWS certified will damage your career. The first reason we'll talk about is the expert versus the generalist salary. salary. The next thing we're gonna talk about is your professional brand. After that, we're going to talk about what hiring managers and recruiters fail about so you can get cloud architect hired or cloud engineer hired. And then we're going to talk about the opportunity cost of learning the wrong things. So to begin, let's talk about experts versus generalists when it comes to salary. Whether you're in medicine or whether you're in tech, experts get paid more. Experts rise faster, they get promoted faster, and they get paid more. So when you build this generalist brand, which is like a jack of all trades and a master of none, no employer has confidence in you because employers know that it takes a long time to build this kind of knowledge. It's not something you can do in a year or two. In fact, it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert at anything, minimum. So for example, I spent 10,000 hours working in just BGP, just the routing protocol, just BGP. You know what, after 10,000 hours, I was good at BGP. And you know what? Employers were willing to pay me pretty much anything to be able to figure out their internet routing architectures or connect to multiple, multiple organizations and do it in a safe and secure manner because I had a skill. So I want you to be experts. I want you to be great at something. Find something you love. My recommendation is be the best you can be in that. Learn about it, be great at it, communicate about it, and then build a brand about it. And that's what we're gonna talk about in a minute, building that perfect brand. But remember, a jack of all trades and a master of none is good for a small business because you're wearing a lot of hats. But in these bigger organizations that have the ability to pay you more, where you can have a much more career progression, being a jack of all trades and a master of none is sabotage for your career. It will result in less opportunity and lower pay. So we don't want to see you get 10X WS certified. We want to see you build an expert brand. Now let's talk about an expert brand. An expert brand is someone that is capable of solving customers' problems. Someone that the entire industry says, wow, I need this person on my team. And it doesn't matter your area of expertise. It could be big data, it could be machine learning, it could be data science, it could be cloud architecture, it could be cloud engineering, it could be DevOps. They're all really great careers, but be great at your career, not somebody else's. So I want you to look at this brand. I've got a person, they've got 10X AWS certified, they know Alexa, and they know the maintenance world, which is SysOps, they know they're, they're developers, they're database people, they're doing this automation of, develop, of uh, software release cycles, DevOps. Now, is that person gonna be able to sit in front of the CEO of a 50 or $100 billion company or a trillion dollar company and be able to say, I can solve your cloud security problems? Of course not because they don't know enough about security. Those organizations need people that have deep, deep, deep knowledge in security and the cloud and cloud security. That is a specialty. There's lots of specialties, but that's the brand. My brand was very simple. I've had two brands in my career. One of my brands was the routing and switching guy. You know, I have my CCIE, I have two master's degrees, and I did nothing other than routing and switching for many years. And I worked for these great tech companies such as Comcast and MCI Worldcom, which is now Verizon. And uh, I worked on Wall Street designing networks for banks. So, you know, I had that. And then I've consulted to all the internet service providers, and most of them spread throughout the world in some way, shape, or form. So I had an expert brand for routing. And you know what? A couple of years later in my career, I built a different expert brand. I built a healthcare, te healthcare architecture brand where I would design end-to-end -end systems for the world's largest health organizations and governments. Why would I be able to build that brand? Here with my brand. I'm a nurse practitioner with a master's degree in nursing. I practiced internal medicine. I worked as a nurse prior to that. I was an EMT paramedic prior to that. And oh wait, I'm a CCIE. I'm a Google professional cloud architect. And of course I'm AWS certified as well. But the point is, is everything that I have is focused 
is on healthcare, or it's focusing on building, designing the infrastructure component of what's needed for healthcare. So that's my brand. And because of that, people request me to travel every day of the week. I used to travel 300,000 miles a year plus just consulting on this, as well as you know, review designs and architecture from a while. Build an expert brand, you get paid more. And guess what? When you have an expert brand, the person's like, I need you. They're gonna go out there and they're gonna call you. You're gonna hear from recruiters almost every day when you're an expert, the world needs you. That's when you know you've built your right brand. Now, let's talk about the next problem that's associated with having all these funny little certifications that are totally unrelated to each other on your resume. When you meet with the hiring manager, they're gonna look at your resume. And if it looks like you're washing dishes, walking dogs, doing nails, doing hair, and oh, by the way, you're a cloud architect, it's not gonna look so good. Now, if you did work in that in the past and then built a cloud architecture career, that's gonna look fine. But the point is, is I don't go to a cardiologist to work on my heart. When the cardiologist didn't work on the heart, they studied eyes, ears, nose, and throat. I go to somebody for the heart. So when you've got all this stuff on your resume, when the hiring manager looks at this resume and says, huh, sysops maintenance, DevOps automating software release cycle, developer, hmm, there's no architect here, there's no cloud architect, there's no cloud engineer here. We've got all those other skills. So what happens is the hiring manager looks at it and tosses the resume aside. The recruiter looks at it and tosses the resume aside. Now there are certain times where a bunch of certifications are good. There are certain managed service providers and consulting companies that like to show you've got a lot of certifications, but still get them exactly in your career, not someone else's career. So, you know, let's look at this. Let's say you've got someone that wants to be a cloud infrastructure architect and they're a Cisco certified internet expert and they're an AWS certified solution architect professional. Look at that. It's only two certifications, but look at that. You've got the world's strongest networking certification, the CCIE, and you've either got a Google professional cloud architect or an AWS certified solution architect professional or an Azure expert, one of those three, that shows you know the cloud because th these exams basically show you have somewhat of a competency on the cloud. But if you combine that and you combine that with the CCIE, look at the brand. Now you've got an expert brand. Heck, add an MBA to that brand. Now you've got the business acumen for the enterprise architecture or the high-end architect job. Don't want to get the MBA? That's okay. Do a TOGAF. Do a CCIE in the Certified Solution Architect Professional. Again, an expert architect or designer brand. So build the brand for your career, not somebody else's career. Don't create brand confusion. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is opportunity cost. For those of us in business, we always evaluate, if I spend my money here, I can't spend it here because money is a finite resource. You know what the most precious resource of all is? It's time. So if you spend a year learning everybody else's job other than your job, two things happen. One is you're not going to get hired for your job because you won't have the skill. Let's say we're talking about cloud architects because that's our world. The average cloud architect in the U.S. earns about $600 a day. A good one can easily earn double that if they've got great emotional intelligence, business acumen, communication skills, and some experience. So if it's costing someone $600 or about $155,000 a year to learn the wrong things, that's an expense. Now, if you learned the right things, look what could have happened to your career. You could have been hired already, so you've earned more money. But it's not just that. As you want to build your expert brand and make your career rise like a rocket ship, you got to be great. And if your time's wasted on all the things that are not related to your job, you won't be great at your job. You won't get promoted. Your salary won't go up and your career won't do this. It's going to level off at best. So don't be that. Be the expert. Be the best in the room. And you can only do that by focusing on one thing. So how do you build a great tech career? First, find your focus. Pick something you absolutely love and be the best you can. Try to be the best in the world at it. So be great at it. So then, make sure everything you study is focused on that. I say this again, everything you study is focused on that. So if you wanna be a cloud architect like me, I'm not a coder, I'm an architect, I don't code. I'm not gonna learn Python scripting, I'm a designer. Designers don't code. I'm not gonna learn DevOps, and I think DevOps is an amazing career and great. But I'm an architect, I'm not doing software release cycles, so I'm not gonna study that. But I'm gonna study architecture. I would study the network, I would study the data center, I would study the cloud services, how the cloud works, I'd be building clouds, that's an expert brand. Be great at it. Then, optimize your soft skills. There's nothing that will affect your career more than soft skills after technical competency, so go work on it. 
Make sure you communicate well, build the right attitude, energy, enthusiasm, passion, love for what you're doing. Nothing will help you more career more than that. Emotional intelligence, by the way, is the best predictor of long-term career success. So focus on training that. Focus on sales skills, presentation skills, business acumen. Become an expert at your tech and then add the business components, add the communications components and become a thought leader in the industry. Shape the world, shape the industry. That's why you're building an expert brand. That's why experts get paid so much more and experts are respected so much more because they are expert in a small area. So go be an expert. So don't wander around. Don't waste your time, your effort and your money learning a million and one unrelated things. Learn to be an expert. Be great at everything you do. Be one of the best out there at what you do. Put all your love, passion, and focus to achieving what you want to dream and build that career of your dreams. I promise you, if you put all your time, all your effort, and all your focus into being the best at something, you'll be great at it and you'll reap wonderful, wonderful rewards, rewards and have a wonderful career. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects. And I've been working in this area for over 25 years, and it's my privilege to come share my knowledge with you to help create the next generation of technology leaders. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. It was so nice having you join us for this video today. Let me tell you about some free services we do for the cloud community. Twice per week, we have a free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar, where we tell you all the things you need to do and know to get your first cloud architect job. In addition to that, once per week, we actually have a free question and answer session on live on YouTube, where you can come and ask us any questions you want about building your career related to cloud computing or networking, and we'll answer them in real time for you because we want to get you to your goals. Several more times per week, we have guests from industry, industry experts that I've known for decades that are movers and shakers that have changed the world that can give you information so you can build the best career. I invite them periodically. They are on my show. If there's a chance to do some free training on our channel, we'll do it live because we want you to all to have the best skills for the best career. So please subscribe and hit the bell. I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to assisting you in your technology career. Thank you so much. This is Michael Gibbs from Go Cloud Architects.